Yo, yo, mic check. One, two. Yo, turn my earphones up. Yeah. Alright. Oh boy, Industries is the largest gang intervention program in the US of A. I suppose in the world and so it's like a rehab center it helps folks who want to gang members who want to redirect their lives it's not a program for those who need help it's only for those who want it so we're here and ready when they're ready and willing the same shit I love my brother same cat I got beef with and yo it's all heartfelt although maybe sometimes I didn't like the way now there are five businesses homeboy bakery homeboy silkscreen homeboy homegirl uh, merchandise um, Homegirl Cafe and Homeboy Maintenance. This place raises the question what if we were to invest in these people rather than just endlessly seek to incarcerate our way out of this problem? So that's the idea. That's right. Why don't you let me just spit my rhymes? No more. I'm just telling you what you can't find. That's right. we have, now we have about 400 plus that are working for Homeboy Industries, and which is a, a good opportunity that. It's it's a it's a want not a need, and you know and, and like I said, majority of us right here are, are are we're in want of a job, we're want of uh, of an opportunity that now we're able to show that given that opportunity, look at what we could do. Many around town talking about forty employees working in the bakery. Uh, most of them are fresh out of jail or trying to get out of gangs and get their lives on track. We have men and women in the bakery. We have about five different accounts. We service USC, which is our biggest account and the one we love the most. We service nine of the 11 cafes on campus, and it's going really, really well. I became a, a baker with my father G, and uh, ever since then I've been out for a year. So if it wasn't for Father uh, Bay, uh, I think I'd be still on the streets and selling or robbing. You see that? I talked to Father G. What you? Want. He'll see right through. You know you're fake or not. You know I see what you want. This one. Yeah, I'm kind of like overwhelmed. That I'm here with these bakers. They're not a train, and uh, you know you got you got little you got different sets here, but uh, I mean work as a family, as a team. You know that's the whole thing here. Like me, I'm, I applied for you so I'll be going to work with you for A lot of uh, neighborhoods are stricken my property, you know, being poor, you know, being raised by a single mother, five kids, on welfare, living in the housing projects. I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory, you know, being poor, you know, having a struggle. You, know, you don't really have luxuries in life. It's, it's real hard. Like me, I'm a single mother. Um, I don't have my baby's father in his life, so it was hard for me to step up, but you know, we have to do it. You know what I mean? Yo, yo. A miracle. Homeboy Industries to me is like a family. I see homeboys as a chance to be a better man. Yo, turn my G seems seen that there was hope in us. You know, all I needed was a chance. We reach out to the voices that uh, can't be spoken for, you know? We reach out to touch a lot of people that a lot of souls. It's magical, huh? It's magical. But hope is something that, you know, you go after. Like, like a dream, you know? You can go after it, you know? If you don't want to be stricken by property, try your hardest to get out of it. Oh, Excelling in academics. Time now, it's been the blessing to have my life all written down. Maybe I can die peacefully. That's right. Cause you listen, I live wherever you go, you carry a piece of me. And everything I said, I meant this. That's right. Whether it was inspiration or was some obscene shit. I love my brother, same cat I got beef with. And yo, it's all heartfelt. Although maybe sometimes I didn't uh, like the way it was dealt. So I say to them that you've been living life sheltered. Right. To the cold wind of my voice.